Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video using the super hyped up products. Um, one of them being the Patrick Ta palette, which I'm wearing today. And the new uh, blushes by One Size. And just a few things that I picked up throughout the Sephora sale. So hopefully you enjoy. Oh, I'm also wearing the Rave de Camellia highlight which has nothing to do with Sephora, but it's just something that was super hyped up product. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and we'll get right to it. Hey guys. All right, so I know I might be looking a little bit crazy right now because I have my brows and my base done, but nothing else. So I'm just gonna get right into it with one of the first products that I picked up during the sale, which I can't even believe I got my hands on because it's been impossible which is the Rare Beauty Bronzer in the shade Happy Soul. So I'm just gonna start off by applying it on my cheeks. And I actually tried this the other day and I hated it because I was using the wrong brush, but I decided to just go with the Rare Beauty brush and it worked a lot better. So I'm just going Kind of quick, just stippling it on here. So I like it better now, but when I first tried it, I was like, oh my god, it's not moving. I was using, um, I can't remember what brush, I think it was like a foundation brush like this. This is a Sephora one, and it like was not budging, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna have lines all over my face, what the heck. Because I basically did this and they were just not moving and I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> That's great. It is a little bit reddish, I find. But that's okay. Because by the time, I do put a little bit of like powder bronzer on after as well. So by the time I do that, it kind of all just, whoops, kind of all just meshes together. But. Yeah, I kind of just work quickly with it and just kind of blend that all in. And then I'm just going to make sure to remember this area because I think it looks so strange when you put your concealer on and there's just like a big white line that goes all the way across. You just want to make sure to kind of attach the bronze. So I'm just going to do the other side. But yeah, so far, I'm liking it. I'm not like in love. I feel like everybody was kind of going a little bit crazy for it. It's really nice, but I think I like my Makeup by Mario soft sculpting stick. What's it called? Soft sculpt shaping stick just as much. That's in light medium. I know this is a bronzer and that one's like more of a contour, but I always use bronzer or contour anyways. And just right up here and right there. So like look how orange it looks right now. But like I said, once we get our powder bronzer on kind of calms down a little bit and once you blend it out it's not so bad I find it kind of gets like stuck on my baby hairs sometimes like you could see right here so you just kind of have to like I said work kind of quickly with it and this is just a rare beauty foundation brush And then I'm just going to take a brush and kind of blend it out quickly. I can never find what I'm looking for. Why do I do this? So this is just the Makeup by Mario blending or powder blush brush. F2. So I just kind of go around everywhere that I just did and blend it out a little bit. I hate that like this camera is so you can never see my outfit. I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> I'm wearing a shirt. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna go in with the Guerlain bronzer. This is the Terracotta Light in the shade Light Cool. And it has like a rosier tone to it, but you don't really see that. I'm just gonna go on my forehead. And it's gonna look a little like insane and a lot at first, but I do blend. Once I have my blush and eye makeup on, it all just comes together. So did anybody else go as crazy as I did during the sale? I got a lot of stuff to show you. <sighs> There's just too much going on at one time. It was like, I don't live in the States and we don't have an Ulta in Canada. Um, but it was like Ulta sale. Um, what's it called? Beautylish sale with the gift cards. And then Sephora sale. And now there was, a, there was another one going on. And then there was like the Raffer sale, which I didn't purchase. I thought about it, but I don't really want to support a company that's not cruelty free. And I know I have some cruelty free stuff and I'm just kind of getting through it, but I don't know. I don't love the hair thing, <laughs> whatever. This is just my personal choice. I heard they're amazing, but it's just not for me. And that's fine. I'm just okay with my synthetic brushes. But I know they are good. Like I said, I bought the Makeup by Ariel eye brushes and didn't realize that they were natural hair, but I had had them for so long already that I was like, well, I have them, so I'm going to use them, and I can't return them now, so whatever. But it is sad. Okay, so we're good. Okay, my hair is just like, what? Like, what is this? Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to be trying a new blush. I've already tried it once, but just to show you guys, it is the one size blush in the shade Very That. This thing is huge. Like, I'll just compare it to a Patrick Ta size blush like eh, this looks big but it's in the container so anyways this is the shade very that so there's the top cream has exactly like what Patrick Taz is like has the powder and then this is kind of like a highlight and I did hear people say it looks kind of cheap with the faces I kind of agree and this is not my favorite packaging it's just very big very bulky but it's cute I'm not mad at it or anything um, okay, so I'm going to just go in with a sponge. This looks disgusting, but I mean, I use it for blush, so that's why it looks so nasty. So this is just a stands out sponge. And I'm going in with that cream shade first. And I'm just like careful not to apply too much because it is quite pigmented. Did try this once already. I do like to try things first before I do a video now because just to kind of get a feel of the product and then I can give you an actual opinion on it instead of just being like oh I think I like this and then later on I don't like it or vice versa just definitely happened before and usually I'll say in a video like oh I ended up not liking that or I ended up changing my mind and liking it You know what I'm saying. So I'm just kind of like blending around the cream. So I'm kind of getting those edges. And I'm just using this dry. So yeah. Anyways, um, leave me a message and tell me what you picked up. I'm always interested to hear what people are into. I got way too much. Way more than I ever have in the past. And I'm just like, what was wrong with me? Well, part of it was for a gift from... Uh, sorry, I just went into the powder now. Part of it was a gift from my parents for my birthday. So I don't count that. <laughs> because I didn't spend the money, but... But I'll show you. Okay, so this is the powder so far. It's looking like scary bright on my camera. It doesn't look as bright in person. 
whoa, okay, put a little bit too much there. Okay, so I am going to use a new highlighter, and I'll show you the highlighter I got. This is not from the Sephora sale, which you'll know in two seconds. Why doesn't Sephora carry Chanel? Just wondering. I think it's weird that they don't. They have Dior. Why not Chanel? Hmm? Um, also, I used this brush, which I just picked up, which is the Merit Foundation Brush, and it is so good. It's so soft. So soft and beautiful. It's dirty because I just used it, but this is so good. Let's pick it up. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Chanel, the much raved about Rave de Camellia. I, I didn't want to use that highlight. I just didn't feel like it was kind of um, more peachy and I wasn't wanting that. So I'm using the brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm not even seeing anything. Like, honestly, so far this has not really impressed me very much. And I'm like, oh, this is expensive. I'm going to change brushes here and use this one. This is a Real Techniques. It just, like, doesn't really have any kind of color to it, which some people just want, like, a nice kind of glow with zero color, but... I thought it was going to kind of have like a peachy. Um, this is not my favorite. I prefer the Westman F38 Photo Page, which is equally as expensive, but I don't know. There's just like something to it that I prefer. So if you're thinking about this one, uh, it's nice, but it's not the best. Okay, sir. So what are we going to go into now? Oh, okay. So I'll just show you a couple things that I picked up while we're here. I got the Aqua Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow in the shade Sunrise. I saw, I think her name is Blair. I'll post her channel below. She bought this. She got inspired from somebody else to buy this. It's just such a pretty shade. So this is just like an eyeshadow stick. I just thought that was so pretty. I'm not going to use it today because I'm going to use something else, but I'm excited to try that. Um, <clears throat> I got a fragrance. This is Replica Beach Walk. I've heard this is really nice. People are like, it kind of smells like sunscreen, and I'm like, I like the smell of sunscreen, so it may. Um, it does, but it doesn't. Like, I wish it was a little bit more coconutty, maybe vanilla-ish, but... What like what? What is this? What's what what is happening? But um it's nice. It's not my favorite, but it is really nice. I think I like my the peach one better, the seven virtues. Or not peach, sorry. Pear. The seven virtues, it's a newer one. And what else did I get? I got this. Golden Belly Serum. This is from Ever Eden. I am not pregnant. I think this is for pregnant people for stretch marks, but I got a sample of this and I just thought it felt so nice on the skin. I usually put it on my belly and like my love handle area and I do feel like it kind of just like tightens the skin. It just makes it really nice and moisturized. I've gone through a lot of it already. I'm like, this is going to go quick. But yeah, I've really been enjoying that. IGK... I've talked about this a billion times. The first class charcoal detox dry shampoo is amazing. Finally got a big boy of the all-nighter spray. Oops, sorry. I ended up getting a little candle. And this smells so good. This is Kalahari Watermelon Voluspa. Voluspa. It smells good. And it smells like a candy. Um, I got the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade Nude Shimmer. I feel like I've heard that this is like always out of stock and I was like, it's in stock in my Sephora. So I just picked it up because I thought it was really pretty. I ended up getting the Merit Lipstick in the shade Baby. 
However, I don't have it right here with me. I don't know where it is. Did I lose it already? Probably. I think it's in my purse. And I also got this little baby. Oh, hi, there's me. <sighs> yeah, it's expensive. But it's so pretty, so I wanted to try it out, of course. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to do swatches, just because I feel like so many people have done the swatches already. But I'll show you what colors I'm using. And got a couple other things. I'll probably use this as well. This is the Westman Atelier Lip Gloss in the shade, or it's called Lip Balm in the shade Nana. Very me, pinky beige. And I also got this eyeshadow palette. This was a very last minute purchase, but I saw somebody use it and I was like, oh, that's really nice. It's so boring, but it's so me, because these are definitely my shades. The Sophisticate by Charlotte Tilbury. Beautiful. I've used it a few times already and I love it. It's just a very neutral, pretty palette. And I think that's everything. Oh no, I got the um, Sol de Janeiro. I can't remember what it's called. It's the new. Sorry, I'm having a smoothie. It's the newest one, anyways. It's really nice. So I'm just gonna quickly go through my eye look here. Again, I'm always running out of time on my phone. Clearly, I need to delete some pictures. Anyway. So I'm gonna start with. Hang on, I'm just gonna stop it for one second. All right. So I'm going to first go in with actually this peachy kind of shade here. I'm just using like any kind of random brush right now. And I'm just going all over the lid with that. It's very, a very light shade. You're not going to get much color from it unless you have a deeper complexion, I think. Yeah, this is just going everywhere. I did use the creams the other day. I probably won't use the lighter cream, but I might use the darker one. So right now, looking very peachy. Just kind of a nice base shade. And then I'm going to go in with the second shade here, which is Heartache. Is this right? I don't know. Or no. I don't know. Whatever the second one is. That's the one I'm using. I'm going with a different brush here. I'm going to go in with a Morphe brush. And just stick that one in the crease. And I'm sure you already know this, but they are very pigmented. So a little goes a long way with these. I do want to do like a smokier look, but I want to do a wearable look. Some of them are just so, like I know people are just trying to use all the shades to give you like a feel for what it's going to look like or what like those specific shades look like on the eye. But for me, I'm very like, if you've seen any of my videos, I'm very like neutral, kind of boring eyeshadow kind of gal. But because I want to be able to wear it out, like, I don't feel comfortable if it, my eye look is, like, way too overboard. Okay, so I'm just going in the same shade. And I can't figure out if I want to use... Coming up very peachy in here, definitely more, like, rosy tone in person. I really wish my camera would actually show the real color but I mean it's my phone camera so there's that that's what it's looking like so far I'm gonna go back in that shade one more time okay 
Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want to go into that third shade right here. It's a little more mauvey toned, and I'm going to. Just to like deepen it a tiny, tiny bit. But like I said, I kind of want to keep this like smoky, but like wearable. So I'm not going into that shade too, too much. I'm going to do like my typical wing. because I just feel like I have to. Okay, so I'm going to go into, I am going to go into the cream, and I don't know which brush to use, maybe I'll use one of the Makeup by Ariel, the angle brush, it's the number B16, I think. So I am going into that dark, darkest cream shade, and gonna draw a little liner on here that's what it's looking like so far and I am gonna set this with that darkest shade because I know these creams can move I think they do set but if you don't set them like I don't know I've I've seen where like it has creased but they do dry down a bit, but just to avoid all that, I'm just going to go over with the powder. Catch my drift here. Okay, this is what it's looking like so far. Um, I am going to smudge that with this little brush here. I think that's the A7. Makeup by Ariel. And I'm going to kind of smudge that out a bit. And I like that this, I'm a mess, I am a mess. I like that this, um, not this brush, this shade, this one, is kind of giving it more of like a brownie tone rather than red, because I don't want to look sick. So I'm just kind of smudging that out a bit. That's what I always worry about with like these types of shadows and palettes is I just don't want to look ill. And I don't really feel like I get that look with this one. I'm going to go in with um, some glitter shades as well, but just not yet. So I'm going to go in, I think, with this one and the second one here. So first I'll go in with the darker one. No cream underneath. Uh, I can hear I can hear them talking about me out there. Oh, they're talking about Ace Ventura. It's like, you know what Rachel's favorite line is? What do you know? They're little footballs. Anybody likes that movie, you'll understand. So I know this might be a little much for some people, and people might be like, that is not wearable. But, I don't know. It is for me. Once I get, like, my mascara on, it won't look as scary. So I just went in with that darkest shade, and then I'm, I'm going to just kind of blend it out a bit with that second lightest shade. Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. Again, don't be scared. I'm going to go in with this second shimmer. I think with these guys, you want to make sure to kind of press them in. I felt like I was like losing a little bit of the shimmer when I wore it the other day. And that kind of calms down the liner too a little bit. 
So I am going to put a lighter inner crease. I'll probably just use any kind of bone shade. There's not really a bone shade in here. There's just that peachy tone. I'm going to go finish the second eye and do my mascara and do a little um, inner waterline here with, I think, probably Coco from Victoria Beckham, the usual. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I told you, once you get the mascara on, everything kind of calms down a little bit. But this is what it looks like. Very pretty sparkle. Um, my dad did... My dad did... I did add a little bit of that kind of goldy sparkle, just a tiny bit in the center, but yeah, I really like it. I do feel like this is a wearable look. This might be a lot for some, a little bit too smoky, and what I would suggest, if you think this is a little bit too smoky, obviously don't do the underneath. Leave that blank, and then maybe just instead of putting that like rosy or mauvey tone, just use that second lightest shade and then the lightest shade and then just maybe dab like a, just a dot of uh, sparkle and then obviously you don't have to do such a aggressive wing but yeah if you just smudge a little bit of that darkest shade I think that would be very pretty too um yeah so that's what it looks like do I think you need to go out and like run out and grab this palette no I do think you probably have something similar if you maybe have like the pillow talk quad or like the newest one the pillow talk dreams those two look very similar I wanted to get the Charlotte Tilbury but you just get way more shades in this one um I do have the first one as well I don't know why but like I don't love it and I want to love it but I don't love it as much as most people do I probably like this one better which is weird because I'm a very neutral girl and you'd think it'd be the other way around. But I'm trying to use it more and more because I kept it and like obviously I want to use it if I have it. And it was an expensive palette. So I am glad I got this one on the sale. And um, I would recommend like if if you don't have any type of shades like this, like if you don't have the Natasha Denona Retro palette, even like I have found that I had this little e.l.f. palette which is not the same, but similar vibe. That one is really cute, super cheap, like $3. This one isn't very bad. Um, if you have the Lawless, the baby one, like you could get similar looks. They're not gonna be exactly the same. Natasha Denona is a little bit cooler toned and I actually think I prefer a little bit like of a warmer pinky tone. It just doesn't give you that like ill look um but yeah I really enjoyed it and I'm not mad that I have it I'm definitely going to use it for sure um I just think it's something that you probably don't need unless you have none of those types of shades in your closet in your closet in your stash like oh my god I can't talk today the blush is super nice I really really enjoy the shades Packaging is massive, so if you don't have a lot of space, I would maybe not get this one. But um, if I had to compare between She's Blushing from Patrick Ta or this one, I would definitely pick Patrick Ta's. I just think that it's a more neutral tone. Okay, they look almost identical, but on the skin, they don't. I find this one is a little more rosy tone, which I prefer. This one's a little more peachy doesn't look like it it looks pretty neutral but in real life it does pull a little more peach and I'm probably not going to use that shade very often because it is quite peach but it depends what you're looking for if if you want something bigger and you want like a blush topper type highlight shade then get this one but if you are looking for more like neutral wearable just everyday shade I would say this is just so good um what else uh lip glosses yeah beautiful i used this the other day this is the dior lip maximizer do you need it no you could find a maybelline lip gloss that's just as good i'm trying to see if i can find one here um not in my vision but um and this one is really beautiful too maybe i'll put it on just to show you I think it fell there we go so this is the shade Nana again you don't need this if you have a Victoria Beckham one that I just tried 
you don't need this because it looks identical. So that's what Nana looks like on. I mean, again, I'm wearing lipstick, so it's not going to give you like the full, full vision, but yeah. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and maybe I'll try these sophisticated in another video coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Love ya. Bye.